In this video, once again looking at the uh, shell command, I'm sorry, the screen command. Uh, and as we've started off before, we can just type screen, and when we get this message at the beginning, one of the things you're going to look over today is removing that message. Um, also, it uses whatever your default shell is, which in my case is bash. But if for some reason you wanted to default to another shell environment when you start shell, I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's exit out of this. I'm sorry, I keep on saying shell. Uh, if you want to start a different shell environment when you start screen, and we're going to go over that today. So first things first, uh, we're going to sudo vim, and we're going to go to uh, the folder forward slash etc forward slash um, screen rc. And this is, and you'll have to type in your password. And this is where uh, basically all your uh, startup um, information for screen is, your startup uh, settings was the word I was looking for there. And uh, there's a lot of options in here, but the main one we're going to look at today is we're going to uncomment this line right here that says startup message off. So now the startup message will be off once we save this. So we will save that. And now, as you can see when we start screen, it goes right into the shell without displaying that message. Also, as I said, uh, you may want to use start off a different uh, shell session in your screen session um, at startup. So easiest way to do that is you type screen dash lowercase s and then the name of the shell. So I'll just do sh in this case. And uh, you can see that my command prompt looks different. I don't have any RC files for the regular shell. Uh, so if we echo out dollar sign shell all capitals, you can see that we're running sh. If we exit out, we can run that again, but this time we'll say something like dash. I do have dash installed, we'll hit enter, and if I type in once again echo dollar sign all capital shell, you can see that I'm now running dash. So that is how you change the shell at startup as far as screen is concerned, just using that dash s uh, and then the name of the shell environment you want to work in. So. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. And visit the links in the description. Hope you're having a great day.